Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Being Wendy. My name is Wendy, aka Mama Dina, and I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle, and anything that I like to you guys about. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to get notified anytime I post a video. So, um, how are you guys doing? How is quarantine taking you guys? Um, it's a bit crazy for us, and that's why today I'm actually doing this video. And as you can see, I have my notebook. I've done quite a number of notes so that i can help you guys in the best way possible because i've also been helped i'm no expert we're all learning through the parenting process so if um according to the title of this video you're going to see we're going to talk about discipline and our, our kids as young parents are our kids disciplined and this i don't think it's just applies to young parents um all parents can use these tips that i'm about to share and um have they worked for me um yes i am in the process of disciplining my child and learning how to discipline my child in the best way i feel i deem how you get like in the best way i know how like i'm learning um also it can be so hard to discipline your kids when you're in your parents house so i understand the struggle because maybe your parents are a bit more laid back and you feel like Maybe your kid is getting out of hand and things like that. And guess what? It's okay. Um, kids do need to be disciplined. And it's going to be crazy at some point. And maybe if you had not planned to be a parent, it's going to be crazy. You So you're figuring it out as you go. And you might look back and you're like, oh, wait, my child is not doing as well as I would have hoped. And that's why I'm here. So we're going to talk about this. Um... This topic, I thought about it because at times I'd feel like then I was talking back at me and I was like, what? Why are you talking back at me like that? I felt like it was so rude. So I had to ask my other mom friends, other young parents, friends, because they are guys and girls. So they're young dads and young moms. We have a WhatsApp group and I call it Play Dates with Wendy because I'm hoping one day we're going to be able to be hanging out with our kids and learning from each other. And honestly, so far, so good. You guys, some are so far, so good. Yeah, so far, so good. Um... So this point, I uh, came through one of the ladies that's called Gigi. Gigi is, you've seen her? She was my first young mom interview, and she's very calm and all that. And her, Gigi's baby is so respectful. Like, when I went to Gigi's house, I was like, how is your child so calm? She's so calm. She she never had terrible tools. The tram, tram, tantrums are not so crazy. I was like, yo, you're doing perfect at parenting. But I guess for them, they just didn't have um, terrible tools. But anyway, other than that, Gigi is into child psychology. So I think she's the best person to give us the tips. And if it is not for this whole COVID-19, this whole coronavirus, I would have had an interview with Gigi and just had her insight on it. So most of these points, actually, all these points are from Gigi. And I'm just going to put them in, in a way I understood them. Yeah, so I hope they're going to understand you. So yeah, let me just start with the tips and then I'll tell you what I learned from this. So um, the first thing was you need to reparent yourself. So I know it's interesting. It's not always about the child. Sometimes it's about you first. So about reparenting yourself is she said you will tend to discipline your child the way you are disciplined. So if the way you are disciplined made you feel upset and it made you feel like, made you feel really bad about yourself, that's exactly how your child is going to feel. So you need to go back and reparent yourself and tell yourself, okay, this is how I felt when I was done for this. And I would have preferred it if it was done this way. I would have listened. and I would have... So for example, like the shouting. So if your parents were really shouting at you, chances are you'd be shouting at your child. And you probably wouldn't know why you're doing this. But it's, yeah, it just happened. So if in your head you're like... um. I wish they would have talked to me nicely. I would have understood. That's what you should do. Talk to your child nicely. Try and make them understand and things like that. If you felt like you were being beaten out of anger and not trying to discipline you, then that's exactly how your child is going to feel when you beat them, the way you're going to beat them. Yeah. So another thing is if you have anger issues, please just answer the hardest questions. Like just ask yourself, what is your trigger? Because 
you need to learn what triggers you so that you can be able to handle it and you can be able to not discipline your child when you're angry so um this you can learn to try and count to 10 count like breathing without for me this really works honestly when i'm angry at the end i sometimes just i'm like okay fine i'm going to put this child to sleep and then afterwards i'm going to deal with this thing for me that's sometimes how it happens other times you can also just give your child someone else so that someone can so you can get times to breathe and calm down and things like that so this other thing is be, our children don't make us lose our patience because at times you're like um to me fanya ni jam adini lim slap and then you're like fuck why did i slap my child this child didn't make you lose your patience this child is just being a child it's normal to have terrible twos and trust me as we're going through serious terrible twos dina is throwing serious tantrum like crazy and it's very normal because it's just not us who are going through terrible twos very many other children at this age are having terrible twos and it's okay so it's it's a lesson for you as a parent to see okay maybe i can learn to be more patient this is somewhere i need to work on on myself and i can learn to be more yeah more patient and work like that and then another thing you need to know that it's okay to lose your patient it's okay to be angry because you're human you're obviously a human being and maybe you just really had a long day it can it can trigger you so you just need to know how to work around your triggers know what yeah know what triggers you generally and yeah give your child away when you need to number three is your traumas you need to know okay that time you have we do have traumas as parents because we've gone through life and sometimes the only way we know how to deal with these traumas is prep by a eh, pie wow by projecting them on our kids unfortunately when you're a parent it can happen you can project how you're feeling on your child and unconsciously you tend to want to choose the victim who will not be able to fight back and this is how we become bullies to our kids um i think this will also apply to like toxic relationships where you're like being beaten and things like that when someone is being beaten it's probably this partner has traumas they've not dealt with from the past now they're projecting how they feel on you and they tend to be your bully so that's the thing this is when parents become toxic and you become a bully to your parent your child and yeah so you need to really deal with your traumas um if you need to go through therapy or whatever please do because there's one of our friends in that group um who said she felt um she said she gets so angry and beat her child and I was like is this really your child is it that your child is this unruly or is it that you have underlying issues and she's like she feels like it's underlying issues when she is not happy you might not be happy in your relationship you might not be happy with your child's father uh maybe you're still angry that you you you're a single parent that the other partner left because both moms and dads do leave depending um yeah so you might be dealing with that however that is not your child's fault it's for you to sit down and tell yourself okay fine am i really disciplining this child the right way or am i just letting out my anger on them so you need to know whether you need to work on it so and if you really do need to work on it go see um a therapist please get special help and then you also need to remember that children will remember their emotions and not their actions they will not remember what they did so that you treated them the way you did they will remember how you treated them and how they felt and according to Gigi children start registering emotions like memory they'll start remembering these things from around 2 years so can imagine if you keep treating your child badly from around 2 years they'll never forget it and it stick with them and i think that's why so many people say african parents are toxic because they can remember so many times maybe that you said in a certain way and probably those parents were actually dealing with other things and how they were treated and it's a cycle it goes round it goes round and you need to know when to cut it and just break it off. Yeah. So, how to handle your child is you need to communicate effectively. So, you need to speak to your child at eye level. So, this means you need to squat or kneel down and put some pressure on their hand so that you can get their attention. 
and then you explain to them that you know what you did this is wrong and if you do it again there will be consequences and if they do do it again please make sure you apply the consequences so that they learn that you're punishing them for their mistake for that particular mistake that they made so for example you can have consequences that are like time out for people who know i don't think they not we can do time out yet but i know you can take something away from them if they love to watch tv if they love gadgets if maybe you promised an ice cream treat if you had promised something take it away so that they can learn that if you behave in a certain way there will be consequences and actually mommy and daddy are not playing with you they are actually very serious that there are going to be consequences and there will be consequences please 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 be consistent with that because they learn and another thing you can also chapa it's okay to chapa as long as you're just you're not killing your child just chapa and tell them that and they will understand that it's not because you don't like them it's because they made a mistake so this is a consequence so yeah i mean it you can take anything that you feel like works for you that will make sure the child really learns and changes and then yes i think yes then you need to also speak very firmly so your child actually understands that you're very serious if the mistake is repeated please make sure please make it let me I'll, i'll go back to this um so finally um do not discipline your child in front of people yes so when like in a public setting and your child is doing something wrong take them to the another room if you can get a separate space and discipline them alone so that they don't associate discipline with humiliation you can imagine how embarrassing it can be for them so imagine when you way back if you were being shouted at in front of people and how you felt that's exactly how your child is going to feel and we don't want to associate discipline with humiliation you just need to go talk to them or whisper something in their ear and be very serious about it it's like if you want to give them a time out or you can tell them give me give me that phone you're being in dispute so i need to take that phone do it when no one is seeing when it's just you two so that yeah so that they get disciplined um i think basically those are the tips we got and from what i understood it some extent disciplining and parenting is more from you as a parent what you went through You need to deal with those things first before you're able to discipline your child in the best way possible. So I need I feel like you need to reparent yourself, you need to teach yourself, you need to sit yourself down and have really hard conversations, really uh, answer really tough questions so that you may be able to be in a space where you will be able to uh send the right message to your child. Another thing I learned that it's okay to chapa your child. I was I was those people for I can't beat my child. I can't beat my child. And honestly, now I see I can. And for like the past two weeks I've been chapaing her and it's not like I even it's like the slightest like I can do this. Then right now like I can just do this and she'll be like she'll cry, she'll scream, she'll throw her tantrum because she's not used to it but be sure she will not be talking like the last time i did that is because she was talking back it was like you don't talk back to people and explain to her and i beat her because then is at a point where say and i lay her so you tell her in a way that she will understand because of course she's not an adult so you tell her na kuchapa because unaongea vibaya don't talk to mommy like that okay so you make her and i tell her if you keep crying i'm going to beat you <laughs> yeah so to some extent it's not wrong for your child to be chapwad and to have that sense of i can't do this because it's very wrong and mommy is going to punish me it's not wrong so it's okay so it's okay to chapa your child and then another thing is make it your ob- obligation to punish your child yourself as a parent don't give it to the nanny don't let it be someone else's obligation let it be you to ch- to parent your child if you have any more um tips about parenting and disciplining your child please put them down below for me this is what i've gotten this is it's actually really working for us and i hope it works for you guys and i'm sorry for this video it's coming out late but i've had a really long weekend and long day today but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope everyone is okay you stay safe you stay in the house if you if you don't have to go outside please stay home and yeah 
take this time to just grow yourself and yeah i'll see you in the next video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and yeah see you in the next video so bye Jione kwa macho yo nikamfuata kibandani akaufichu asiri nikauona uakisi nikauona mara ya pili malaika